Well, welcome back, my friends, to another rousing rendition of Choir Boys Cutler. Today, we're doing the American Blade Works 1V5 S35VN uh, blade stock G10 handles. This thing punches way, way above its weight. Now, before we get too far in the video, 22 veterans a day in this country take their own lives. Vets, I love you. You have a place here. All I know to do is raise awareness. That's why we mention it every video. We back to blue over here with Sport Leo. How do you do that, Scab? Well, we don't break the damn law. And finally, if you are an addict, never quit quitting. So, this was part of that set of knives that Rusty Knife Lover sent to me. Now, let me say this. This is, I think, the fifth one I've tested, and it's the fifth one I've wanted to buy. I know very, very little about American Blade Works. That's going to change. When I first looked at this knife, I thought, man, that's a nice Sunday go to meeting knife. It'll, it'll be good for carrying to dinner. And then I ran some, I did my demonstrations. I did, I call it tests. It's, there's nothing scientific about it. We just did some pocket knife stuff. I really, really, really believe in doing that. And as I show you those things that we did, there I am looking into the camera. I'm going to go over some things with you. Now, before we get too far again, I want to do a quick shout out. Samurai Bird is is a brother in the blade, and he's an awesome dude. And I would be remiss not to do a shout out to Samurai Bird. Awesome dude. Now he's into swords, and that dude is like a rock star, man. He's one of my favorite guys. I just I love his channel. If you like swords, if you like cutting, he's real relaxed. Love that guy a bunch. Samurai Bird. Check him out. And, and guys, he's a brother in the blade. It don't matter if you're in the swords, axes, knives, whatever. If you are a brother in the blade, you're a brother in the blade or a sister. We got all kind of folks. It don't matter if you're sword, bushcraft, whatever. Samurai Bird. Go over there, tell him old Scab sent you, and check him out. Now, the other thing I want to talk to you all about, we got a new Facebook page, The World of Knives, the Scandinavian Prince of Knives, Woodsman Knives Channel, it's Woodsman Knife Channel, the Scandinavian Prince of Knives, as he is well known, has started a Facebook page, The World of Knives, and I am honored to be a part of that. Come check us out on Facebook and check out Woodsman Knives Channel. Now, to this knife, sometimes if, if, if you're new to the channel, guys, the way I set my videos up is simply this. I make it to where you can turn off my melodious tones turn off the noise, turn off the narration, and just watch the knife work. That's the way I try to design it. And that way we can cover all kind of range of topics. Now, we're doing the Donnie B all day drop test, the Donnie B all day throw it at the stump test. Go follow Donnie B all day. Go subscribe. He's marching to 10,000. Get there. Guys, the reason I like doing this particular test with pocket knives. Now, for a lot of times for fixed blade, it's checking the balance of the knife checking the tip, checking the edge, etc. With a pocket knife, and this is a liner lock, okay? With a pocket knife, I like doing those hard downward throws to test the lock. Now, immediately somebody will say, Scab, I don't like liner locks. Guys, I get it. I do. Now, personally, I like them. I like all knives. One thing that I will tell you, and, and, and the people that typically don't like liner locks here and there have been burned by it or got hurt by it. That's why we do these demonstrations. That's why we test the locks. I can tell you this knife right here isn't going to fail you. The other thing I want to talk to you about though, guys, the longer I do this, the more and more and more and more I have come to believe this. You carry a knife for its intended purpose. What does that mean? This is not a chopper. This is a pocket knife. This is a cutter. Now, it's got kind of that drop point, spear point looking thing, more of a drop point to it. This thing is an absolute slicer. What do I mean by that? So I'm not going to sit there and chop with it. I'm not going to do things that I'm not supposed to with it. There are other knives for that, okay? Now, for those that say, well, Scab, I need a one-tool option. I get it. I do. But for those of you who just, like, every now and then want to throw something a little lightweight in your pocket, this knife is more than capable. Now, here's my, here's my eagle tears. This was from the video the other day. And I just wanted to go ahead and coat it. I've, I've coated all the Rusty knives that he sent for me to test. And Rusty, let me say this. If you're not following Rusty Knife Lover over on Instagram, 
you need to. The dude has phenomenal, I'm telling y'all, he sent me a ton of knives to test. I have some great, great, great subscribers and he is a big part of this community. Follow Rusty over on Instagram. He show you some awesome, awesome knives. Now right here, we're processing up our fat wood for our camping trip. This is gonna be my last knife review this week. We'll do a video Friday of our pre-camp get together, whatever you call it, packing. I think that's what you call it. Now, the one reason I like doing this with fat wood is just to kind of see the control of the knife. There's no jimping on the back of this knife. There's no need for any. It's very comfortable, very controllable. I will tell you this too. When it comes to, if you watch the channel long, you know that we'll we'll do certain things at different times. We'll use the Tire of Doom, uh, we'll baton, we'll do all of these different things, and then we move on from them. That's not to say we won't go back to them, but we try to do different tests. We try to do different demonstra demonstrations, a better word. Again, nothing we do is scientific. We just try to find a lot to do uh, with pocket knives. So you can whittle with it. You can process fat wood with it. In a minute, you're going to see one, one test that I call more of a hard use test where we cut some water hose. Guys, that's where this thing really, really impressed me. We do our zip tie test. We do a ton of different tests. This is one of my favorite things to demonstrate a knife with. Just it's relaxing. It's sitting at the table, just processing fat wood. That's literally all we're doing. Very comfortable. I think after I, t I got a few minutes of footage and after that, I think I sat there for an hour, hour and a half with this knife, just processing. It was that comfortable in hand. There's no hot spots. Now, the other thing y'all will notice is this. I can't cut carrots for shit, but I do try. Again, guys, I'm a novice at best. Uh, one of the reasons we show, I try to show you and demonstrate so many uses of the knife is one, so I can get better with it. Two, so if you see somebody like me that's a novice doing it, those of you that were, you know, experts and raised in the wilderness by, by uh, wolf's people and all that, imagine how well it'll work for you. One thing I'll say about the knife, two things actually, it hits above its weight. I said that at the beginning because it really, I, I really was just expecting kind of a Sunday go to meeting pocket knife. Yeah, it's S35VN, and I expected it to do, you know, pretty well on some slicing and things like that. But I'm very, very, very impressed with the construction of this knife. I really am. It's, to me, to me, you could use this in a hard-use folder type situation. Now, these retail for about 185 bucks, and right now, there is a waiting list for them. This is going to be on my list. Now... We're going to do a quick comparison. The 1B5, the knife on top, you'll recognize this, the Civibi Riffle. It's just to show you kind of a, a quick size comparison. Now, on the 1B5, we've got a three and a quarter inch blade. The knife handle is about 4.67. So, so we're close to eight inches uh, overall length. It is very, very comfortable in hand. Everything is American made. American Blade Works. The knife materials, American made. Now right here we're doing our zip tie test. This is a test that I've come to really kind of rely on. In my job, I do cut a lot of zip ties. It's not just doing pocket knife things. I try to be specific on some of the demonstration. Zero damage to the edge. And again, you can see, and, and that is G10. When you first feel it, it feels a little like Micarta. It's that nice, soft G10. Now, here's some cordage. Uh, and you've seen me, I think I cut some paracord up earlier. I tried to cut literally everything I could to give you guys as much of a look at a pocket knife, doing pocket knife stuff as I could. I'll tell you this. I highly, I, I want this knife. I'm not going to beat around the bush. I, I'm probably going to get on the waiting list. This thing is well made. It's very, very tough. And it's very comfortable in hand. Now, I've got a bigger hand. You see there that it fits knife, nicely, nicely in my hand. Now, watch this right here, this initial cut watch. Little tug, but it went straight through there. All right? 
a lot of times, guys, now, sometimes when I when I bend the water hose or whatever in that crease, I do that, um, and it does stress the knife. I will say that. I was stunned at how well this just blew through. That's some old water hose. Somebody asked me if that's the same one I've been cutting on. No, this is a, a, a different one. I nabbed it from work. Now, right here, a little tub. But guys, this is this is a pocket knife on some industrial. Now, this is the industrial strength stuff right here. It really blows through it. Now, right here, even though there's a little bit of tug because the piece is shorter, watch right here in that crease. And that's a stressful, stressful area. And it just hammers it. Now, here's another test I really like. And it's just where we just kind of cut up some plastic. Again, I try to show you as much as I can of a pocket knife doing pocket knife stuff. This knife, Rusty, thank you so much for sending it, my brother. This one was an absolute home run. Now, we got about a minute and a half. Now, here's what I did. I got some of my petrified uh, firewood from Home Depot. There's a two by four. We're going to do a little bit of slicing uh, on some different woods here. And while we're doing this, let's, let's do a little housekeeping real quick. I mentioned the World of Knives Facebook page. Guys, it, it made me think of something. If you send me a friend request on my Facebook page, please put a comment in one of the links in my video. Scab, I sent you a friend request. You don't have, If you use a screen name or whatever and you don't want to, that's fine. But at least let me know who to look for, okay? Um, I am very selective because my Facebook page is my personal page and, and I've got family and, and friends and all that on there. So I do want to know who who's contacting me. Well, guys, listen, I love this night. I love y'all. Friday, we're going to do our prep video for our camping trip. I'll see y'all then. My guy, Mikey, whom I love, says it best. He said, Scab, never give up, never surrender, and everything will be okay. And Mikey's a guy who should know. That's a fact. I'm scared. You're not. I'm really, really impressed with this knife. And uh, I'm going to let y'all watch it work for a minute. I'm gone, son. Hell of a throw by scabber.